Hi all, thanks for watching. In this video I want to show you how you can set up your 7 days to die in order to optimize the game and prevent crashing. This will also fix the issue of the game stalling on exit. So what you want to do in order to start is you actually want to open the game folder. So with Steam you would just go to the game in your game library. You want to right click on it, go to manage and browse to the local files. Now once you're here in the local files in the game folder, you want to select that 7 days to die exe. And you're going to right click on that and select the properties. Then go over to the security and you'll see all application packages. Now this will only have the permissions for these two here. So what you want to do is click edit and then give it full control. And that's for the all application packages. So just click on the and give it all permissions that will allow it to run the same as administrator and it should be able to access any files or devices that it needs while you're playing so once you've done that just say okay and next what you want to do is open a second window here and we're going to copy over some DirectX files so you're going to go to your C drive and you want to go to the Windows folder here. And you're looking for the SysWell64 folder. Right there. Once here, just scroll down until you find the DirectX files. And we're using these files as they are part of your system. And they'll work fine with the anti-cheat. So you won't have to worry about any issues that way. But anyways, what you want to do is hold your control key down in order to select them in a group. So let's see, D3, D10, the 11, 11 on 12, and 12. And then you're going to right click and copy them. And then you're going to paste them into your game folder. I've already pasted them, so I'll just overwrite the existing files. So once you've done that, Close that SysWow64 folder, and before closing this, copy the, um, the actual game folder right there. And then you can close this off and go down to your Windows settings, and you're going to look for graphics. Now once you've done that, select the graphics settings. And here, under the browse, you, you won't have anything unless you've already added something. So what you want to do is click Browse here, and you're going to add the game to the graphic settings in Windows. So the address here, just paste in the game folder address and press Enter, and that will take you to the game folder. This is just defaulting back to the game folder, as that was the last one I opened. But once you open that, again, click the 7 days to die exe and add that. Once added, um, just click on that as it will appear under the browse. Click options and set it to run on a high performance and then save. Now you can add any of your games this way. I would actually recommend adding your games as you're playing them. Once that's done, just close this off. And the last thing you're going to want to actually do is go into game and turn off motion blur. So we'll just start up the game here. And this way I can show you that the game will start up and exit properly. Um, no longer having that hang at the end when you would go to leave the game. For some reason it would kind of hang sometimes. And this allows the game to exit properly. Now if you... Do you have any issues after doing this fix? Please let me know in the comment section under the video. But otherwise, once you've done this, this should correct any issues that you're having. Um, if you were having crash issues, unfortunately, it won't correct a corrupted map. That's a different process, but it will keep the game from crashing so it doesn't corrupt your maps. Um, unfortunately, that's an issue that's carried over from the old games. Um, and it only affects some people with certain hardware. So by making those security changes, um, that should allow it to actually
access to any files or any devices that it needs on the computer to make sure that the PC works well for it. Um, so we're just waiting for it to start up here. It tends to take a moment. My computer is a bit older. But um, I also find Alpha 21 it seems to take a bit longer to start up. But there we go. So I'm just going to go to my options here. Video, quality, and motion blur. Just turn that off. And once you turn that off, you can use any other settings you want here. But just apply, go back, and start your game. So I'm just going to start up my small map here. This is just a map I made for practicing running the game after I made the fix here. Um, haven't really played much on it. I've actually been playing more with my wife and family game. So that's been kind of like my test between her and I playing. Um, we did play several hours um, on different occasions and had no issues since. So the game um, hopefully will work correctly for you also. And like I said, if you do have any issues, just let me know in the comment section. But um, yeah, I'm running in 4K, and as you can see, everything's nice and crisp, nice and sharp. I do really like this game. Um, crashing issue is really the only complaint that I, I really had, and of course, something like it hanging on shutdown wasn't really an issue for me, but it was something that I wanted to correct along with the other issues. But um, yeah, everything should work properly, and I'll just exit out a game here, and you can see that it no longer hangs when it Let's just go back to desktop, and as you can see, there we go, right back to desktop. So this should help optimize the game and prevent or fix the crashing issue if you have or haven't had it yet. Um, hopefully, if you haven't had it, then you'll never run into it once you've done this fix. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If there are any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise... Take care and I'll talk to you again.